they will be packaged with the favor of God. Amen. And everything that you are looking out to God for, he will visit you and give them to you. Amen. You will not be disappointed Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I thank God for the opportunity that he has given unto me. And I thank my father and my mother in the law for this grace, for giving us the grace to grow under their wings. I pray that you will always be celebrated Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Your joy will know no bounds in Jesus' name. Every good thing that God has put in your care, he will protect them and preserve them to the end in Jesus' name. Thank you, sir. Thank you, ma. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Today, sincerely, we are going to pray. It will be more of prayer. So as we are talking, we will rise up and pray. We will talk again, we will rise up and pray. The strength and the grace you need, God will give to you. Amen. And the grace to possess your possession today, he will give to you. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The cry is, O oh Lord, oh Lord, let my time come now. That is the cry we are going to cry unto the Lord today. In the book of Psalm 102, verse 13, Psalm 102, verse 13, we have been looking at it. It said, Thou shalt arise and have mercy upon Zion, for the time to favor her. Yet the set time is come. In essence, this is the month of favor. And if as at the 27th day, the favor is not yet manifested, the, reason, the need to do, what do we do? We cry to God and say, for the remaining three, four days, let my time come now. Amen. Say, oh Lord, oh Lord, let my time come now. Time that topic is a heartfelt cry, a desperate prayer for help and assistance from God. It's, it comes from a heart that is desperate for God's assistance. And I pray as you pray today, you will pray true in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. It will be more prayers as I said today, and I will give you the reasons why we have to pray. The first reason is in the book of Matthew chapter 11 verse, 20, verse 12. Matthew 11 verse 12. What did he say? He said, from the days of John the Baptist unto this present moment, the kingdom of heaven suffered violence and the violent take it by force. There are times when you need to take your blessings by force. There are times when you need to possess your possession by force. And today is one of those days you will not miss it. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The second reason why we have to pray today is taken in from the book of Luke chapter 18 verse 1. Luke 18 verse 1 says, he told them a parable. He says, men ought to pray and not to faint. I don't know if you have fainted in the previous days or whatever, but today, the grace to be strong, it will give to you. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The third reason why we have to pray today is taken from the book of Daniel chapter 10. Daniel 10 from verses 12 and 13. Daniel 10, 12 and 13. The Bible says, Daniel prayed and the answers were released immediately. But for 21 days, the person carrying the blessings of Daniel, or the answer to the prayers of Daniel, was withheld by the prince of Persia. Maybe God has answered your prayers, but there is a power that is holding on to that blessing. The power to possess from that power, God will give to you. Amen. He will send a, an angel, just like our daddy usually say, a, 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 an angel that have a four-star general angel Amen. to bring down your blessings Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The fourth reason why we have to pray today, the fourth reason, is taken from the book of John chapter 2. John chapter 2, verse 4. John 2, verse 4. What does he say? He said, Jesus said unto her, Woman, what have I to do with thee? My hour is not yet come. It was at the marriage of Cana of Galilee. The wine got finished. The, the, the bride and the groom were to be put to shame. And they went to Jesus Christ. Please, we need assistance. Just like we are crying to God. I said, no, it's not your time. 
But when we look at that John chapter 2, verses 7 to 11, not yet time became now. Even if the plan of God was not to give you your blessing today, by the time you cry unto him, tomorrow will become now. Last month will become now. Next year will become now. Because we are serving a faithful God. In verse 11, what did he say? He said, verse 7 to 11, praise. Praise the Lord. Verse 7 to 11. Jesus said unto them, Feed the water pots with water, and they feed them up to the brim. And he said unto them, Draw out now, and bear unto the governor of the feast, and they bear it. When the ruler of the feast had tasted the water that was made of wine, he knew not whence it was. But the servant withdrew the water knew. Then the governor of the feast called the bridegroom and said unto him, Every man at the beginning does set forth good wine. And when men are well drunk, then this we, that which is worse. But thou hast kept the good wine until now. And he said, The beginning of miracles did Jesus, did Jesus in Cana of Galilee and manifested forth his glory, and the disciples believed on him. The beginning of miracles God will do for you today. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So when we look at those, we know that we need to pray. And we will pray through, as I said, in Jesus' name. I want you to pray as you are seated there. I say, Lord, 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 by your mercy, let my time come now. My time of breakthrough, my time of healing, my time of deliverance, my time of blessings, my time of favor, let it come now. By your mercy, begin to pray unto the Lord. Begin to pray unto the Lord. My Lord and my Savior, I cry unto you. Let my time come now. My time of breakthrough, my time of deliverance, my time of blessing. Father, let them come now. Be merciful upon us. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, the set time has come. The most dangerous person on this planet Earth is the one whose time has come according to the register of heaven. When your time comes according to heaven, you become unstoppable. You become undefeatable. When your time comes according to the record of heaven, you become a tsunami. Any power that wants to stop you will be pulled out. So that's why that prayer is very important. When your time comes, nobody will be able to hinder you from moving forward. And I pray that time will come in Jesus' name. The person whose time is come, has come becomes indestructible. Anyone who works against the person whose time has come will do it as his own peril. That's why we said the most dangerous person, when God says the time of this person has come, and the anybody becomes an enemy to that person, he will become an enemy to God. God will make your time to come. Yeah. In Jesus' mighty name. Yeah. Anyone who challenges him could lose their possession, position. And if care is not taken, they could pay for their lives. When your time comes. And when your time comes, Anybody who attempts to stop you is in hot, hot water. I pray your enemy is in hot, hot water. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. When your time comes, protocols will be broken for your sake. Amen. There will not be anything. Yeah, this I will do it. No, for somebody whose time has come. Laws will be changed for the sake of that person. Amen. I pray that will be your portion. Amen. In this season, in Jesus' name. In Exodus chapter 12 to 14, Exodus chapter 12 to 14, the Egyptians, the Israelites had been in bondage for 430 years. And it seemed as like there was no way out. But in verse 12, chapter 12 to 14, in Egypt, the firstborn of every living creature, Pharaoh and his host, they lost their lives for the children of God to fulfill their destiny. Because the time had come to deliver these people. And anybody that wanted to stand their way had to be wasted. Pharaoh was wasted. The hosts of Egypt were wasted. The chariots were wasted. 
the firstborn of every living creature was wasted. Anybody that stands your way, this season shall be wasted. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We are going to take the first prayer and we are going to take it standing. We are going to say, Father, 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 because my time has come, execute judgment in the camp of my enemies. Everything representing Egyptian, everyone representing Egyptian, let me see them no more. Let me see them no more. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, my Lord and my Savior, because my time has come, execute judgment in the camp of my enemies. Today, today, in Jesus' name, whatever represents Egyptian in my life, let me see them no more. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, instant judgment, let it be the portion of my enemies today. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, thank you, Jesus. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. We may resume our seat. God bless you. Another example. In the book of 1 Samuel chapter 16, verse 11. 1 Samuel 16, 11. The Bible says, And Samuel said unto Jesse, I hear all thy children. And he said, There remaineth yet the youngest. And behold, he keepeth the sheep. And Samuel said unto Jesse, Send forth and fetch him. For we will not sit down till he come either. Those who have been destined to help you, they will not sit down. Amen. Until they render their help. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We know this story very well. David didn't have to campaign for himself. He was far away from where the blessings are located. But the blessings had to wait for him because his time has come. All the blessings that God has destined for you for this year, you will have to possess them. Amen. Nobody will take that which belongs to you Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. He said, we will not sit down until he comes. And when he came, he took that which belongs to him. In the book of Genesis chapter 41, Genesis 41, 9 to 14, Genesis 41, 9 to 14. Said, then spake the chief butler unto Pharaoh, saying, I do remember my fault this day. Pharaoh was wroth with 9 to 14. 10. Pharaoh was wroth with his servant and put me in ward in the captain's guard house, both me and the chief baker. 11. And we dreamt a dream in one night. I and he, we dreamt each man according to the interpretation of his dream. Verse 12. And there was there. With us, a young man, an Hebrew, servant from the captain of the guard. And we told him, and he interpreted to us our dreams. To each man, according to his dream, he did interpret. And it came to pass, as he interpreted to us, so it was. Me, he restored unto my office, and him, he hanged. Verse 14. Then Pharaoh sent and called Joseph, and they brought him hastily out of the dungeon. And he shaved himself and changed his raiment. And came in unto Pharaoh. Even if you are in captivity, you are, you are coming out today. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. He had been forgotten. For two years, you can imagine, somebody you helped. I said, okay, in two years, please, remember me when you get out there. And for two years, the Bible said the butler forgot about him. But because his time came, Pharaoh had to have a dream. Because his time came, the man had to remember him. And he was brought out from that captivity that he was in. I pray that today, the helpers of your destiny, wherever they are located anywhere in the world, they will remember you for good. Yeah. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. In the book of 1 Samuel chapter 16, verse 18. 1 Samuel 16, 18. Said, then answered one of the servants and said to Saul, Behold, I have seen a son of Jesse. The Bethlehem, that is cunning and playing, and a mighty, valiant man, and a man of war, and prudent in matters, and a comely person, and the loss is with him. 
Verse 18. Then answered one of the servants and said, Behold, I have seen. Okay, praise the Lord. You know the story very well. That was how David was brought to the palace. He needed to learn everything about rulership. And the only way was to get to the palace. And the, the evil spirit was upon the king that had been removed by God. And then he said, no, there's somebody that can play the, the trumpet and everything very well. And when he plays for you, you'll be radiant again. He said, go and bring him. And that was how he found himself in the palace. The palace he was to occupy. He found himself there. Where you are to occupy, whoever is occupying that position, God will relocate them Amen. for you to occupy it Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The vice president, I read the story some two years ago that he was in his house. Somebody who knew him and who knew the president that is to come tomorrow, that is to come in tomorrow, the man was the president that is to come in tomorrow as the governor was just saying, I need somebody who, is, who can, as attorney general of Lagos. I said, ah, I know one man. Who can be? And he mentioned his name. He said, okay. If you can just invite him. And this man, the intermediary, went. He said, in fact, he went through the kitchen to get into the house because it was close to them. I said, ah, the, new, the new governor wants to see you. Maybe he wanted to offer you a job. The job of a commissioner. He became the job of a vice president. That is how God, how good God is. In high places, God will send somebody yeah. that will speak on your behalf yeah. in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. We are going to rise on our feet and pray unto God. Say, Father, Father, let my time come. Raise a voice for me in high places. Places where I have no voice, where I have no influence. Let people that matter, let them stand up for my enthronement. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, my Lord and my Savior, raise a voice for me in high places. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, where I have no voice, Father, raise a voice for me. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, a voice of influence. People that matter, let them stand up for my enthronement. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, people that matter, let them stand up for me. Let them defend me. Let them, Almighty Lord, speak good for me in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In offices where I couldn't reach, where my presence cannot be, raise a voice for me by your mercy in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, the King of Kings. Blessed be your name, O Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. We may resume our seat. God bless you. In Jesus' name. Another example. In the book of Esther, because Esther's time has come, verse she has to misbehave. It was in the record of heaven that when there is no vacancy, it's absolutely, maybe, maybe once in a while, we may have another vacancy, another post created. It has happened before when there is no vacancy and they say, okay, we need this person. Let's just create a post for him. But in most cases, there must be a vacancy for somebody else to occupy the position. And where you are looking up to, if there is no vacancy, how can you occupy it? That is why the person that is riding on your horse must somersault Amen. for you to occupy that position. Amen. But she has to misbehave. Because the time for Esther to become the queen, the, the, the queen had come. But Esther becoming queen was not for her own purpose. It was so that the children of God are not annihilated. So that they were not destroyed. And because Esther was the right person to do the will of God, she was put in that position. I pray unto the Lord that whoever is occupying your position, God will relocate them Amen. for you to possess your possession Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The same thing with Saul and David. For many years after David had been anointed, Saul was still sitting on the post. And David couldn't have occupied the position. But one day, 
God visited Saul, and Saul became no more. And that was when David was able to occupy his position. Praise the Lord. We are going to rise on our feet again. And we are going to pray and say, Father, 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 let my time come today. today. Whoever is occupying my position, Father, relocate them. In your own way, relocate them. Approve them by your mercy for me to take my rightful position in destiny. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, let my time come. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Today, let my time come. Whoever is occupying my position in any office that you have designated me to work, Father Almighty, oh, relocate them. Relocate them, relocate them, relocate them, relocate them. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The position you have designated for me, Father, whoever is occupying it, relocate them in your own way so that I can occupy my rightful position in destiny. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let all be well with me, O Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. God bless you. You may resume your seat. Number four. In Esther chapter 6, verse 1. Esther chapter 6, verse 1. Because Mordecai's time had come. Mordecai's time of honor had come. The Bible says, on that night, could not the king sleep. And he commanded to bring the book of records of the chronicles. And they were read before the king. Verse 2. And it was found written that Mordecai had told of Begnet and Teresh, two of the king's chamberlains, the keepers of the door, who sought to lay hands on the king Ahasuerus. Verse 3. And the king said, what honor and dignity had been done to Mordecai for this? Then said the king's servants that minister to him, there is nothing done for him. You might have done one good or the other anywhere in the world. And there is the need to pay you back. The time to pay you back has come. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. For every good that you have done, God will repay you for double. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. That is how Mordecai entered into his place of honor. We are going to rise on our feet and pray unto the Lord. Say, Father, 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 Father my time has come. Take away sleep from my airpass of destiny. Until they render the needed help. Let my case, let it agitate the minds of the helpers of my destiny. Open your book of remembrance concerning me today. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. My Lord and my Savior, I crown to you. The King of kings, the Lord of lords. Take sleep away from the helpers of my destiny. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Until they render the needed help. Wherever they may be, take sleep away from them in your mercy. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let my case, let it agitate the, man, the mind of the helpers of my destiny. Whoever you are destined to help me in life, let my case agitate the mind of that person. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Almighty Lord, your book of remembrance concerning my life. In your mercy, let it be open today. 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 By your mercy, your book of remembrance. Concerning me, let it be open. Take away sleep from the helpers of my destiny. Let them be ready to remember me for good. Let their, my case agitate their mind from now on. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be your name, O Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. Amen. So shall it be. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. We are going to another prayer and say, Father... Father, Father, my time has come. Time has Any voice of opposition, voice of opposition to, my to my lifting, silence them permanently. Silence them permanently. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, my Lord and my Savior, my time has come. Any voice of my opposition to my lifting, Father, silence them. Permanently silence them. By your mercy, silence them. In your power, silence them. Any voice of opposition to my listening, to my lifting, to my advancement,
to my progress, to my blessing. Silence them in your mercy. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Silence them permanently. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. We may resume our seat. God bless you. That has answered the fifth point. I really want you to keep on standing and sitting. Let's, we are sorted out the sixth point. In the book of Esther, Amman stood as opposition to Mordecai's promotion. That was what Amman stood for. In fact, he wanted Mordecai to be killed. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. But God silenced the voice of opposition permanently. The gallows that he prepared for Mordecai, he was the one that died in it. Everybody that has prepared evil for you, they will fall into the eye of evil in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the book of Mark chapter 10, verses 46 to 52. Mark 10, 46 to 52. The Bible says Jesus went into Jericho. He entered into Jericho and he came out of Jericho. Anytime I read it, to me, nothing was said about what Jesus Christ did in Jericho. It's like he purposely went to see Bartimaeus. He purposely knew that the time of Bartimaeus had come to deliver Bartimaeus. But then, there were voices of opposition. As the man was crying, Jesus of Nazareth, have mercy on me. And people said, keep short, keep short. You are disturbing our peace. But he kept, the Bible said, he shouted the more. The grace you need to possess your position, God will give to you. Yeah. The strength you need, he will give to you. Yeah. The will with God, he will give to you. If this man had kept quiet, it would have been, he would have been blind forever. But the Bible says he shouted the more. And as he shouted, the Bible says Jesus heard him. So the people that were saying, ah, no, keep short. He said, hey, rejoice. He's calling you now. And they brought him before Jesus Christ. And he said, what do you want me? He said, the Bible says Jesus stood still for him. Because his time had come. I pray unto you. Any voice of opposition in the offices. You don't, uh, you, you, maybe you don't know that somebody may be saying, ah, this person qualifies for this thing. And there will be some other people that say, no, because of this, because of that, we should not pick him. But if they are there, anywhere in any office, God will silence them. Yeah. Because your time has come. Yeah. He will silence them and silence them permanently. Yeah. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Our daddy in heaven talked about, our daddy in the law, daddy Adibu, he talked about a story. The, the daughter went to a program where he was ministering in the camp. And he said, there is somebody here. Your time to get married has come. Amen. And it will happen like that in Jesus' name. Amen. And he said, but the person who is your problem is your mother. Who has not allowed you to? And this lady, maybe by design or by the Holy Spirit, she knew that it was her. And she went to her mother. You are the one that did not allow me to. And the mother said, what is it? How can I be? And the mother took this daughter to Daddy Adeboe. And they said, okay. You are the one that are preaching heresy. You say you are, you are turning the back of the daughter to the mother. He said, why? How could I have done that? I only prophesied what God has given to me. I didn't, did I mention your name? And the lady said, no. <laughs> but then, the story is this. The mother said, the daughter should go out. I said, okay. I would have wanted her to get married. It's true. I didn't want her to get married. Because if she got married, who is going to take care of me? And that was how. He said, no. I would, you, we will sort that out. And before six months, this lady was married. As many of us in this gathering, whose time has come to be hooked, you will be hooked in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Whoever is it that is the bone of your bone, the rib of your rib, rib you will locate each other in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. No more delay for you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We are going to cry and say, Father, Father. as we stand up, please, Father. My time has come. Whoever wants to hinder me 
from occupying my rightful position in destiny. Let them be wasted for my sake. Let them be wasted for my sake. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, my Lord and my Savior, my time has come, O oh Lord. Whoever wants to hinder me from being blessed, whoever wants to hinder me from possessing my possession, whoever wants to hinder me from moving forward, Father, let them be wasted for my sake. Let them be wasted for my sake. Let them be wasted for my sake. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let them be wasted for my sake. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be your name, O Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. God, we answer our prayers. In Jesus' name. We may resume our seat. Another one, number six. In the book of Micah, chapter 7, verse 11. Micah 7, 11. Micah 7, in the 11. It says, in the day that thy walls are to be built, in that day shall the decree be far removed. The day for your wall to be built is today. Amen. And every decree and every law that has hindered you thus far from building your wall of progress, they will be removed. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. There are so many laws. I remember <laughs> some people are to be removed for all these things that is happening now to happen. I wouldn't have imagined some prime ministers who were home secretary before. I wouldn't have imagined the way they would be looking at things now as it is now. But because they, were, they had to be removed for God to do his purpose, they were removed from their post. And that's when we started coming in. We started coming in. I remember when I was where I was, and they said labor had lost the, something. And then it's another party that came in. I said, ah, bye-bye to the United Kingdom. But God in his mercy has a way of doing things. He, turned, he will turn things around. No matter who is there. He has brought you, he has brought you. <laughs> Whoever has to be relocated will be relocated. Amen. Every Lord that has to be changed must be changed. Amen. Because God is a faithful God. He will not bring you and abandon you. Amen. He will make a way for you. Amen. And that will be your portion. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. He has done it for people of old. He will do it for us also. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Let us rise on our prayer and pray unto you. I say, Father, Father, my time of favor has come. By your mercy, mercy. and not every law, every decree against my progress. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, my Lord and my Savior, my time of favor has come. Whatever it represents law or decree that is standing against my progress in this land, Father, let them be annulled. Let them be abolished. Let them be abrogated. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every law, every decree that may be standing against the progress of your children, that may be standing against all my Lord, the establishment of your children, let them be annulled in Jesus' name. Let them be abrogated in Jesus' name. The time of your children has come. Father, visit your people. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Any law, any decree that may be standing against the fullness of your people's joy. Father, anoint them today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Anoint them today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be your name, O Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. So shall it be. In Jesus' name. We may resume our seat. We are almost there. In the book of 2 Samuel, Chapter 9. Second Samuel. Chapter 9. From verse 1. Second Samuel chapter 9 from verse 1. And David said, Is there yet any that is left of the house of Saul that I may show him kindness for his Jonathan's sake? And there was one of the house of Saul, a servant whose name was Ziba. And when they had called him unto David, the king said unto him, Are thou Ziba? And he said, Thy servant is he. And verse 4. Verse 4. And the king, and the king said unto him, Where is he? And Ziba. Okay, verse 3. I'm sorry. <laughs> and the king said, Is there not yet another one in the house of Saul that may show kindness unto, of God unto him? 
And Ziba said unto the king, Jonathan hath yet a son, which is lame on his feet. Your but will not hinder you from possessing your possession. Amen. In Jesus' name. Verse 4. And the king said unto him, Where is he? And Ziba said unto the king, Behold, he is in the house of Micah, the son of Amir, in Lodeba. And verse 5. Then King David sent and fetched him out of the house of Micah, the son of Amir, from Lodeba. Verse 6. Now when Mephibosheth said, The son of Jonathan, the son of Saul, was called unto David and fell on his face and did reference. And David said, Mephibosheth, and he answered. Let's go to verse 11, please. Verse, verse, verse 13, maybe, let's just, the verse 13. So Mephibosheth dwelt in Jerusalem, for he did eat continually at the king's table and was lame on both feet. The, we know the story very, very well. This is a son, this is a king, in fact, he's a potential king, if not for what happened. But it's a case of the king that is walking on foot while the servant is riding on horseback. Ziba, the servant had many servants. Mephibosheth was living in Lodeba. Lodeba means no pasture, no, 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 no blessing. Living in a place of abject poverty. He was struggling to make ends meet. But somebody was occupying his position. We are going to take the last prayer point. The Father, relocate me today from Lodeba. Take me to my promised land by your mercy. Relocate me today. Begin to pray unto the Lord. Begin to pray unto the Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, my Lord and my Savior, relocate me today from Lodeba. Take me to my promised land. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, take me to my land of promise. Take me to where you want me to be. Take me to my land of blessing. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, by your mercy, relocate me from Lodeba. Relocate me from Lodeba. Let every lack cease in my life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Make hardship. Let him come to an end in my life. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Anointing for his and release upon me. Relocate me from the place of lack to the place of abundance. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be your name, O Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Maybe you have not yet given your life to Jesus Christ. Or you have given to him, but you are backsliding. Saul was like you. But one day, just like today, his time of salvation came. And from that day, he began to fulfill destiny. Saul would have been perished. He would have ended up Wiped off from the surface of the earth with nobody coming to realize, to know him. But God took him from that obscurity because he gave his life to Christ. And God made him, made him great. And God changed his name to Paul. I don't know if you are there. You knew that you need Christ. But you are still struggling with giving your life totally to him. I pray that you surrender yourself to him today. Because your time of salvation is today. And you will see greatness manifesting in every area of your life. You will see good things happening to you. And you will see the fulfillment of your destiny coming to pass. Maybe you are there. You may raise up your hand and say, Father, my time of salvation is today. Save me, O oh Lord. Save me, O oh Lord. I cannot save myself. You cannot save yourself. It is only God that can save you. If you are there, raise up your hand and raise it up. Raise it up carefully. Raise it up properly. Say, God, save me, oh Lord. Save me. Thank you, my sister. Thank you, my brother. Thank you, my sister. Thank you, my brother. Just pray this prayer. That Father, have mercy upon me. Today is my day of salvation. You saved Saul and you made him to fulfill destiny. Wash me clean with the blood of Jesus Christ. Cleanse me of my unrighteousness. By your mercy, let me have an encounter with you today. An encounter that will make me to be entrenched in your kingdom. Be merciful upon me. Begin to pray for mercy. For mercy. The blood of Jesus Christ is enough to atone for your sin. No matter how far you have gone into the world, 
is more than able to restore you and to restore your destiny. And that will be your portion. Father, we thank you for this, your children. We pray, O oh Lord, that your mercy will speak for them. They have become yours, Almighty Lord. We pray that you guide them in the journey of life. The grace will fulfill destiny. According to your purpose, let it be their portion. They will not go back to the world. Thank you, the King of Kings. Blessed be your name, O oh Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. In Jesus' mighty name we pray.